Well, I am here at Scouting Grounds with the Houston Rockets GM, Daryl Morey, to talk a little bit about Clutch Gaming's entrance into the esports scene. So I know from your work at the Sloan Analytics Sports Conference that you've actually been interested in gaming and esports for a while. Maybe you can talk to me about the road to getting here. Let's just note I'm the only team senior exec yes. at the at the at the scouting grounds. Yeah. Uh, there's no one from Cleveland, from Golden State, yeah. from any of these teams. So, um, yeah, no, I've been interested in a long time. Obviously, I was on the board of Major League Gaming, um, and you know we've. I think it's you know I say it all the time because I think it's true. Like the the three dominant sports in the future are going to be soccer basketball and esports so and why league of legends is the first thing into the space for you i mean it's it's not even close i mean it's it's the game obviously it has uh you know almost double or more than double i forget yeah. sebastian's got all the uh, data numbers, yeah. i got then the the next the next sport so you know if we were going to do it we're going to do it right we're going to do it in the dominant game and and show what we can do yeah what has the timeline been like for this? Because I, I'm curious, how far back were you interested in getting involved in all this stuff on the uh, for the Houston Rockets side and all that kind of thing? Yeah, a long time. Uh, obviously, again, you know, I was with Major League Gaming. Uh, we then were internally poking around for a while, and and then we decided, hey, if we really want to do this right, we got to bring someone in who's working on it full time, and that's when we hired Sebastian Park, um, who had run a team previously. Uh, so he was a grizzled veteran in, yeah. in this space, and uh, we brought him in about exactly almost a year ago. And to be here one year later with uh, a team in the in the best uh, the best league and the best sport uh, esport is pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, as you mentioned at the start of this, you are the only senior exec from the, uh, from the yeah from the NBA here at the event. Uh, why is that? Why are you the guy? Why did you decide to come out here? Obviously, you have a team that can handle this stuff, but what really motivated you to come check it out? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, the draft is really important. Developing talent is really important. We're in this for the long haul. Uh, we really take care of our players. And I thought it would be, you know, be, I mean, this is a historic draft. So I think we, everyone here is going to remember we're here. I think, you know, you go back to 1958 in the NBA, and everyone who was there probably remembers being at the first, you know, the first draft in the NBA. So uh, I wanted to be here for sure. What are the differences that you have seen as somebody so integral to the NBA here with esports and, and League of Legends and just kind of broadly speaking competitive gaming? Um, I think we don't know the differences. That's what's exciting. Actually, it's frustrating because, you know, in the NBA, we feel like we've got a good handle on do X, Y, Z and execute this plan and that will win. Yeah. Uh, with esports, we've done a ton of work. Sebastian and his team have done a ton of work to develop a a model for how we want to run, how we want to use data, how we want to have great coaching. Uh, but the reality is we don't we don't know. We just got a great, uh, really well-informed hypothesis of how we want to run things, and we're going to have to see how it works. And, and I, I promise you in a year we're going to feel like we didn't know anything right now. And I think that's key is to know you go in saying, hey, we're going to learn a lot here and then revise our plan going forward. I've had the opportunity to ask a couple people this question, but no one's so closely integrated with the NBA. We've seen so much involvement recently uh, from members of the NBA or teams or you know various entry points. But why is it that we're seeing so much crossover between the NBA and esports specifically? I think the NBA has always been the most forward-thinking league. Uh, with Adam Silver as the commissioner, who's you know, he was at the, the first uh, MIT analytics conference. We were talking about that. He's always been at the forefront. I think NBA teams are also have also been bought by younger, uh, you know, more uh, aggressive owners. And, you know, with Tillman Fertitta, who's our new owner, who's had a history of that uh, and has really put all his support into this team, I think, I think that's why you see uh, the NBA. And I think there's a lot of synergy, too. You know, five players, five players. And... Uh, um, you know, it's it's, and you get to see the players. We're the only sport where the players are the centerpiece, and that's what we're going to do in our sport as well. The players for our team are going to be the centerpiece. So any any player out there who's thinking about which team, um, you know, we're we are look at our NBA record. We're going to make the we're going to be the best place for players to land in in esports. Yeah. 
Very, very good. Well, hey, at the end of this interview, is there anything you want to say to Rockets fans that are interested in maybe supporting your team here, League of Legends fans that are curious about what Clutch Gaming is going to be? Anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Yeah, I would say uh, Clutch Gaming is where it's at. If you like red, we're the team. <laughs> um, you know, we're going to take a, an approach that's going to win over time. Uh, we've shown that in the NBA. We have the second best record in the league, you know, since I've been there. And, and even if you look farther back, our team's all about winning. Our team's all about the players being centric and, and the fans being centric to our team. So uh, follow us on Twitter at Clutch Gaming and, uh, and uh, see you at the arena. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Really a pleasure to uh, to interview you here and meet you and see you involved in the LCS. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here. Can I move over? I have to take your, I have to take your exact spot. All right. Hello everyone, this is Travis Gafford, and thank you so much for supporting me here on my YouTube channel where I do uh, lots of interviews and videos. If you would like to support me more, you can check me out in the description below. Thank you. I sounded like Squidward. I think you sound like Squidward to me.